Hey guys, before we get started with the episode, I wanted to go over again the comments because you guys have sent me a ton of research material and so I wanted to tell you guys how I'm actually, how I've processed this and how it's going to work in in, uh, in my garden. So the first one that I saw was the Kew Gardens, um, a huge, huge botan botanical garden. Um, but what I'm going to take from it is the tree walk because I think that's really cool and I think that I can... Uh, I think I can add that to to my jungle garden that I'm going to have in, in mind. Um, that kind of connects to the aquaterrarium uh, up on the hill a little bit. Like I have all these I have all these ideas uh, roaming through my head. The next one was the Oakland Museum. Um, that one was really cool. It's like a it's like a master uh, a masterpiece in landscape architecture. So I'm going to use that as a sort of lower terrace to the modern garden. And I'm going to have it so that you could actually walk underneath the modern garden and get to the aqua terrarium and the, the big uh, conservatory, the big modern conservatory there. The next one um, was actually from Rubel. He, sh he showed me some pictures of the Denver Botanical Gardens. Um, so that's what I'm going to take from that. I'm going to put the modern garden up on a sort of plateau um, along with the aqua terrarium overlooking the jungle garden and the tree walk. Um, so I think that's gonna be really cool. The next one was the Royal Botanical Garden. Um, from that, I'm gonna take the Alpine Rock Garden from there. Uh, I really like the idea of, uh, of having a, a garden that is a lot shorter, um, but still kind of winds its way through. From Ocarina Springs, I'm gonna try and take the Morning Glories, which are the cool, uh, almost Frank Lloyd Wright type uh, art sculptures from the sort of entrance area. Um, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna make those, but if I can if I can do them effectively, then they'll be part of something like the, the children's garden or, or something really whimsical. At Longwood Gardens, I'm gonna take the conservatories, but I'm gonna do them in a different way, and I'm not gonna explain how, but I think you're gonna really enjoy the way that I that I factor those in. From the Crone Conservatory, um, I want to have that feel inside the Aqua Terrarium House, so you can see that the the waterfall gets to a certain point and then there was like nothing well from that from that point and filling out the rest of the house i want that really really tropical and lush feel and then lastly um somebody mentioned the adelaide botanical garden which was absolutely gorgeous um so i'm including the wetland garden from there and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to develop this land so that it ends up having some sort of natural wetland um i, I just think that is a completely sublime type garden and I would love to have it in here. And then for the uh, the design of the modern conservatory that is going to house the aquatorium, I'm thinking of using something that I saw from the Waterfront Botanical Garden in Louisiana, I believe is where it is. So they're doing a massive renovation and so they've got a lot of really cool concept art. Alright, so with that out of the way, thank you for all the comments and thank you for all the research that I had to do. Um, if I didn't use yours, it's, it's mostly because uh, it just doesn't fit the California aesthetic. Um, it's either a little bit too old or a little bit too historic. Um, I have to imagine that this garden is within about a hundred years, um, not, not much more than that. But thank you all and uh, let's start the show. Hey there fellow plant nerds, welcome back to Planet Botanic. This is episode three, and we have an awesome guest today. Uh, say something. Hi. Say something, guest. <laughs> something guest. <laughs> if you don't know who this is, this is Kinderly, and if you haven't followed us on uh, Planet Bro Coaster series, uh, the, the first season, um, you're gonna get to know this guy pretty well, because he's pretty damn awesome. And let me just show you. Just from, just from the back. Yeah, I didn't make that. <laughs> I yeah, I had I this outsourced. <laughs> yes. He likes to put his stu hard stuff on me, so... Well, I should have phrased that differently. <laughs> he likes to put all the hard work on me. There we go. I... <laughs> oh, everything, God, he, everything he doesn't like doing. And that you do enjoy doing. Yes, I do. <laughs> so this is going to be a bit of a different episode because we have a guest on. I'm not going to show you the process in which this was built. We are just here now. Um, this is a pretty damn close interpretation of the uh, estate at the Huntington Library. Like, it's With crazy how... With some minor how... differences. 
well, it, minor, it's, I said. Well, it's crazy how good how good uh, yeah, you made this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, how did you how did you come about to well, coming first, up with this design? Well, uh, first, you gave me the reference, mm -hmm. and um, I pretty much just followed it uh, closely with some creative liberties like the front mm -hmm. is not all the same and uh i added on this little whatchamacallit on the top that isn't there so <laughs> okay i'm very good at architectural terms. it's a whatchamacallit i don't even know what that is <laughs> I, I don't even know what that is in the style i want to say it's a cupola but it's too big it's a yeah it's a bit of a big cupola it's a hip i know that it's uh -huh. got a hip roof a hip gabled roof yeah it's beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and so this building is just, it was weird because I had never seen so, this weird, like, amalgamation of Spanish revival and neoclassical, so it was a really fun style to work in. Yeah, what was your, <laughs> uh, what was the challenge in this building? Uh, scale, probably biggest of all, working on the grid. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we only had the two meter. Yeah, I've noticed that all the all the freaking uh, windows are recessed. Uh huh. So that means all of these walls are custom. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It oh was my so. Gosh. Basically, what I did was I just created a single like uh, window, like a section of it, uh -huh. and then I copied that around. And that after I got that done, it was pretty. It pretty much came together flawlessly. I think. God, any... yeah, flawlessly is definitely the key term. <laughs> look at look at the freaking bends for the mm -hmm. for the uh, gutters. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I like that you also included. So you have the main estate here, uh -huh. um, which is very symmetrical, and then you have the annex, mm -hmm. and then you have uh, I guess the portico. I guess that's what it is. I don't really. We theorized that it was like a, a parking space or whatever. Back when this I think was it's like actually. A... I think it's actually a portico because the parking space is on this side in the real building. Well, I mean, like at, at one time it was a uh, thing. Yeah, it could it could very well be. Uh, what I really love about this this little part here is that you managed to create these really awesome uh, boober lights. I don't know what they're what they're actually called, but <laughs> they kind of look like boober lights. Yeah. I, yeah, they were they were in the thing. I thought they were pretty central to these little uh i don't know what they're called like the recesses mm -hmm. and the design there so yeah it looks so good <clears throat> you've really set me up for um for a really beautiful botanical garden um taking the inspiration of the huntington you can see that you've plopped this thing right in the middle and it gives me a pretty good idea of where everything is going to go now. Mm -hmm. um, for a while, everything was pretty much floating, but now that the estate is in, now that I have a, an idea of how the Huntington actually works, because I did watch a YouTube video, um, suddenly my rose-colored glasses uh, lost their tint. <laughs> what, I, what I remember being um, charming? Not so much anymore. There are some there's some weird oddities about this this particular building in the Huntington, um, especially the front here, which is I guess is supposed to be the front of the estate, but it looks um actually looks a lot like this, like what you've done. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just very. It, it's very it doesn't sad. exactly translate well to Planet Zoo well either. So no, but I mean, <laughs> what they've actually done on the building is not great either. So. No. We're, we're, we're going to take it a step further, and we've already I've already done so on the back here, because in the original building, there is nothing. Um, I think just a few uh, topiary shrubs that have been trimmed over, like, decades, um, but nothing else, and you were kind of, you were kind of perplexed on why I was covering up the, the facade of the building with all these plants. Yeah, because I thought, well, this is just my personal taste, I have a tendency to not want to cover up the details and let the building speak for itself but you and i'm the exact opposite yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like to, since uh, this is a botanical garden uh, the plant should shine more so well that's the thing yeah you always have to have these destinations to go to so if you're say you're coming uh, let's not do that path because that path's <laughs> a little messy but say you're coming down this path like you have to have a reason to go see the estate and when there's like nothing in it, let me just like take everything away first. Yeah, that is not inviting. 
that there's nothing for me to go like, oh, I want to go see that. That feels like it's going to be hot and miserable. <laughs> so let's put everything back. Da, 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 da. There we go. That is like, oh, I want to go see what that is. That's just my personal preference, and, and because this is my botanical garden, um, I've decided to kind of soften those lines a little bit, which I think just make it look a little lusher and a little nicer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm sure other people in the comments will tell me that I'm probably wrong, especially architectural well, I enthusiasts. Think it, I mean, I think it looks nice. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> <laughs> Ring an endorsement uh, right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, it, I, I have I the best words. Nice. <laughs> you do have the best words. <laughs> um, I did make a few changes here because I think you were uh, you just had this kind of flat out area. Yeah, I didn't um, really go into depth with that. I was having a hell of a time trying to get the path to do what I want, and I wasn't <laughs> having it, so I left it for you. I am still having a hell of a time to get the path to do what I want, um, but that will be my, my cross to bear. Uh, but I did start, like, uh, pinstriping everything and making... Uh, trying to follow that neoclassical look a little bit. So you've got the diamond and then the diamond reverses in the uh, little balcony there. I thought that looked pretty nice. Yeah. And then you came along and saved me and did a curved staircase into the pool, which is just freaking gorgeous. Uh-huh. I mean, it, it, it wasn't looks... that difficult. You just, for some reason, had a difficult time with it yourself. I don't like this game's building system, all right? <laughs> it's the same exact. I just did the... Uh, the rotation method like you you plop down the column piece and then you uh copy yeah, the other I side around do and that <laughs> it's the same this exact is, as it was all right this is what i did <laughs> instead <laughs> let's go over here this is this is what i managed to do is i i took uh i took corkwood trees and turned them into live oaks yes that's that's what i'm good at <laughs> i'm not good at 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 architectural things so that's why that's why i bring you on that's why you are my chief architect mm -hmm. here on the gardens and i appreciate the the job you appreciate the empty title <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah i mean this is this is going to pretty much centralize the entire garden and from here i can decide where to go next um and I don't know exactly what that's going to be. This is this is a little project I've been working on. Um, these are custom trees. Yeah. They look a lot better <laughs> than they do in a Planet Coaster, that's for sure. With all the oh, for sure. foliage options that we have now. Mm-hmm. Well, and it, yeah, it just seems to blend better. I think also because the, the foliage doesn't move, it just kind of wiggles. Mm -hmm. It actually makes it a lot easier to do custom foliage. So here we go. Ooh, look at that. I got two Japanese maples, one smaller, one larger. And they're both green, because <laughs> why wouldn't they be? I've got something a of color, a... color, that's why. Something of a eucalyptus right there. Uh, using the diamond... Uh, diamond something willow or something like that in the game. And... Yeah, so I've been, I've been practicing making uh, custom trees so that I can have things that look uh, a little different. Um, actually, these these trees are custom, too. These are a bunch of corkwoods uh, stacked they? on top of each other. Wow. <laughs> See, the thing is, you I never can tell. I thought those That's were good. legit in-game. <laughs> and then this thing, which I don't really know what it is, but I feel like I've seen a tree like it before. That's just a bunch of nettles uh, on birch, uh, birch trunks and stuff like that feels like a specimen tree. I just don't know exactly what it is. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, and then these. These are probably my favorite little thing because who would have thought that you could just put a sphere of grasses in the top there and it would actually look like a decent, uh, like a desert uh, type plant. Yeah. I may or may not have already stolen this one. <laughs> <From my own. laughs> did, you, did you just pillage whatever you wanted? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You steal from I don't the know. best, so yeah. I don't. Well, thank you, but I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I really, really thank you for doing this for me. And this will not be the the last time that you yeah, see Kindly's work in here. I have already agreed to continuing other stuff as you need it. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, maybe you can actually make a build episode next time so that people can see how you uh, came up with this. <laughs> <Funny>. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not into the YouTube thing, are you? <laughs> no, not really. Uh, one of these days we'll get you there. You say that. <laughs> well, you can see the pieces over here. Everything yeah, you there you go. There's my process. There's the build process. You don't need a build video now. <laughs> Just see like <laughs> abstracted shapes out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> It kind of looks like a prison when the when the pieces aren't put together. <laughs> so yeah, I've been working on the kind of place making the the uh, the plaza and everything, but I think it's really coming together. Um, from here, it's basically just going to be lawn, um, and then there's going to be a lot more modern influence. Um, so in the original at the Huntington Library, they pretty much have it shrouded in trees, and you walk past it, but it doesn't really do a whole lot for for the garden. Um, in my garden, it's going to be a lot more of a central focus because this is supposed to be emulating like the classic gardens um, of, I don't even know what this style is. What is the style? Greek? Uh, I think it's... Greek Roman? Uh, I think it's Roman inspired neoclassicism. Okay. I think. I'm not very architecturally savvy. I just know stuff. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Super specific right there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so if it's Roman, that means it's Italian. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Italians definitely focused their villas on their, or their gardens on their villas and stuff like that. Um, there's definitely more of an emphasis on form and structure. And so I'm going to do the same. Um, but yeah, big lawn here that's going to kind of move down into the jungle garden, which is going to be very forested and stuff like that. And then moving all the way down into the waterfront, uh, or the, um, uh, it's not really a swamp. It's more like a, a bay or something like that. Um, a wetland. Wetland is the term. <laughs> Had a hard time with that one. Um, and I think I know finally where the aqua terrarium is going to go. This is going to get a new structure because it's ugly. <laughs> that was my first day with Planet Zoo and ugh. no, we can do better. In fact, I might actually have Ruble um, be coming on to do that one. Fun. He's also he wanted very, to. He's also very good at buildings. <laughs> he's very good at buildings. So what I think is we're going to do a very uh, parab par parabolic. Par yeah, that's the term, right? I don't know. A parabola of glass, yeah. basically. Okay. Um, so a lot more of a modern shape, and the aqua terrarium and, and the entire modern garden is going to be up on the upper plateau up here, overlooking the the vast expanse of like the jungle garden and everything. So we have a long way to go. This is going to be a long process. Yeah, it's only episode and three. <laughs> <laughs> I, we have a lot done for for three episodes. I'll be honest. That looks pretty darn good. It looks isn't so this, good. Isn't this scientifically inaccurate, though? Isn't California in a drought? They, they get rain, all right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it snow and it'll be ash. <laughs> wow. Dark. <laughs> Freaking dark. Nice. Every, every episode, we're going to have a rain, and I'm just going to go, oh my god, this game is so beautiful. It is a very beautiful game. It really, really is. <laughs> this is usually what happens when I visit uh, botanical gardens in California. It's always freaking raining. Somehow, I always choose the wrong time. Here, I'll just, I'll indulge you. <laughs> indulge my dark humor. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to be like orange light because it's this always like um, apocalyptic orange <laughs> when the. <laughs> when the ash starts flowing down from the wildfires. <laughs> oh god, we're going to hell. <laughs> we're already in it. <laughs> Truth be told, I already tested this on my own. I just wanted to make the joke. <laughs> cool, thanks for explaining. <laughs> oh. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave it. If you liked what you saw today, you know what to do. Um, where are we going to be next time? Well, Kimberly's not going to be here, unfortunately, because nope. I don't think I have a job for him uh, yet. But I will at some point. Although, you've started your own zoo right now, so tell us about <laughs> that. Well, they're not going to be able to see it. It's okay. They, You can still... <laughs> you can 
still try and promote yourself. I haven't started a zoo. I just started the the thing around it, and it probably oh. won't go anywhere. But my God, <laughs> <laughs> I am say sorry. What you're doing. I am making a zoo. Thank you. <laughs> Put damn pictures on. <laughs> We can show your beta pictures too, because it's basically the same thing, right? Sort of. I'm, pr I'm probably going to use the same stuff, but anyway, finish the video. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to probably work on this area, and this is going to be the uh, the channel garden uh, that I had in mind a while back. I don't know where my test channel went. I think you probably deleted it or put a house on top of it. Oh no, I moved it. Where is it? It's somewhere over in the um, on the right or left side of the house. Uh, you have to get okay. out. No, zoom out. Zoom out. <laughs> Go to the right. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's the channel. I so, had yeah, to delete the gravel. But you can Why did that. you delete the gravel? Because it was a path and it was blocking the thing. I can't move the path. Uh, <laughs> Alright, put this back. There we go. We're gonna do this on a larger scale. We're gonna do the, the, the channel uh, water feature, which I think is gonna be really cool because it's gonna be working from uh, on a slope as well um, in a very kind of modern type garden, moving up to a road um, that brings you to the upper spot here. I mean, I'm gonna have this all worked out, um, but uh, right now it's it's kind of in the free, free mind mode that uh, I like to work in. So, if you want to see that, <laughs> uh, come back for the next episode. Um, and yeah, if you if you enjoyed having Kinderly here, please uh, please tell him in the comments because he loves to be praised. <laughs> he loves it so much. Who doesn't? Give him all the love, guys. <laughs> are you are you uh, are you awkward enough yet? What do you mean? <laughs> are you feeling awkward enough? I always feel awkward. <laughs> And with that, we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye, Kendall. Bye. <laughs> See you later, guys.